Now tonight, an exclusive you will see only on CBS 46 News at 9. An Atlanta couple who tested positive on the Diamond Princess cruise ship are now home and thankfully healthy. CBS 46's Jamie Kennedy sat down exclusively with the couple and Jamie. They had been in quarantine for what, four weeks and now they're healthy and virus free? Exactly, Rick. It means no more masks, no more coronavirus, and they're so thankful they get to sleep in their own beds. Oh, it felt so wonderful to get out and breathe the fresh air and walk. Clyde and Renee Smith now back in Atlanta after being quarantined in Japan. The biggest rest I've had in my life. <laughs> there was nothing to do but sleep. The Smiths had been aboard the Diamond Princess and tested positive for the coronavirus. They were quarantined in Japan for three and a half weeks in an airlocked hospital room. Oh, every day. They took four times a day. Three or four times every day. Temperature, wow. blood pressure and uh, oxygen. After their time in isolation and returning two negative results, the couple got the good news. Yesterday morning, early, we got the news that we were cleared to travel and declared without disease and by noon we were ready to leave for an afternoon flight back to the u.s once at hartsfield jackson one final check from the cdc but they did have people in full uh, protective Uniform. gear mm -hmm. from head to foot with the shield plastic shield to look through and the eight-year-old couple now looking forward to getting their lives back to normal Going through a, a two months of mail, and uh, we had 40, our bills. Yeah, 40 messages on the telephone. We still have 20 more to go through. <laughs> now, because the couple has defeated the coronavirus, they said to me that they have offered to the medical community their blood or any other way they could help defeat this virus. Rick. Jamie, how about while they were in the care of that staff at the Japanese hospital, how do they describe how they were treated there? Rick, well, they had glowing reports about the staff there at the hospital. Now, in that package, you saw some of the faces of the people who were caring for them. They all volunteered to help them. They weren't paid to do that because of the severity of that virus. They volunteered to do that. And as well, just at the end, they were that was the only time they were able to see their faces. They were covered head to toe and all they could see were their eyes the whole time. So only after they were virus free that they were able to actually meet and uh, greet their staff so lovingly. Rick. Well, a very happy welcome home to that couple. We're so glad that they're OK tonight. Jamie Kennedy live for us. Thanks so much. New tonight, a harsh message for 21 people testing positive for the coronavirus aboard a cruise ship in California. In a press conference at the CDC today, President Trump said he wanted to keep them on the ship, adding he did not want our coronavirus numbers to go up. More than 3,500 people are on board the Grand Princess near San Francisco. Vice President Mike Pence says a plan is in the works to bring the ship to a non-commercial port this weekend and test everyone on board. Remember, you can stay up to date with everything surrounding the coronavirus on air and online. If you don't have our new CBS 46 streaming app, download it now for free.